A Russian husband and wife now living here in Acadiana are speaking out for the first time since they fled the country. News 10's Britt LaFaso spoke with the couple as well as the police officer who helped them escape. Behind me is a draft notice that 28-year-old Anton Lukin received from the Russian government in March informing him he was being drafted to fight in the war against Ukraine. Lukin, who did not, who knew he could not fight for a war he did not believe in, decided to flee here to Acadiana with the help of a Port Ferry police officer. As Anton Lukin is a former Russian police officer, he was one of the first to be drafted. I received draft notice from the military recruitment. I spent about uh, three or two weeks trying to ask people to support me against this war, but all Russia was against me. Anton says when he began posting on social media asking others to support him against the war in Ukraine, he was reported to Russian police. Police was coming to my parents' house. They asking where is Anton? In Russia, if you are against this war. You will go to jail to 100%. That's when he and his wife knew they had to leave. With the help of his friend, a police officer in Port Barry, he and his wife Tatiana made it to America. Although refusing to answer the Russian draft is treason, Anton says he could not fight for the cause. I don't want to kill innocent people, and I will, I will be killed. He's now wanted by the Putin regime. If he returns to Russia now, he says he'll either be killed, put in prison, or sent to fight on the front lines in Ukraine as a Russian prisoner. These soldiers are called war dog battalions. They got only one one task to clear the town or the special pl any place. So to clear, to kill they they clean yes yeah, they rape him they robbing people they killing civilians killing civilians they do anything because they, it's a prisoners. Poor Barry police officer Brad Tate helped Anton and his wife escape these fates. He said, you know, I don't want to go and kill innocent civilians in Ukraine, and I received a draft notice to go to war. What do I do? And he was like, can you help me? I said, well, look. I said, if you guys can find a way to lawfully come to this country, I will help you in any way that I can. Officer Tate helped Anton and his wife pay for their plane tickets and found a way to bring them to Acadiana. Not only was it a mor being compelled morally, but it's one of my best friends. The couple is now living with Officer Tate at his home in Opelousas. The Russian citizens are no different than us. They, they are not the enemy. The regime is the enemy. And if we can look at ourselves in the mirror and actually say, you know what, we've done everything we can to do to help, you know, that, that's the takeaway from this. You know, how can we as Americans look in the mirror and say that we've actually done something? Anton and his wife are in contact with immigration lawyers but need help financially for immigration and legal expenses. To find out how to help, visit our website, KLFY.com. Britt LaFosto, KLFY News 10. Thank you, Britt.